professional learning, supporting teachers. In 2012, I was offered a wonderful opportunity to pilot Chromebooks with my fourth grade students. This experience allowed me to offer a blended learning experience in the classroom. Students learned how to create and collaborate on the Chromebooks. This experience truly changed the dynamics of my classroom because I was able to incorporate digital learning that met my students' needs. When Chromebooks and Google accounts were launched to the entire district, some staff embraced it and were excited. On the other hand, some staff members were confused or had no interest in changing the way they taught or ran their classroom. Unfortunately, it has been six years and only a handful of teachers know how to use it for instruction and learning purposes as well as professional obligations. Even now that we are transitioning entirely to a Google G Suite district, there has to be a change in the way this information is presented to the staff. We need to support our staff with professional learning rather than professional development. So what is the difference between professional learning and professional development? The most important difference between the two is ongoing support for teachers. Professional learning offers teachers support throughout the year to ensure that implementation of the new strategies or program is being done correctly. Why not just give this information little by little at a faculty meeting or an in-service workshop? Professional development is ineffective. Teachers are passive listeners, and when they are not actively engaged in their learning, they are less likely to implement. There's not enough time to take all that information in at an in-service or a meeting, and teachers have a hard time implementing newly learned methods on their own and are confused about how to go about it. How can we transition from professional development to professional learning? We need to implement the five principles of effective professional learning. To summarize, professional learning is done throughout the year because teachers need ongoing support when implementing new ideas or strategies. It can take around 50 hours of instruction, practice, modeling, and coaching before a new idea or strategy can be mastered. The five principles can be infused successfully by allowing coaching to take place. A coach is responsible for ongoing support. They help design, implement, technology-enhanced learning experiences by using a variety of research-based, learning-centered instructional strategies, resources, and assessment tools to address the diverse needs and interests of all students. Worried about budget? According to the Mirage Report, school districts they worked with spent $18,000 per teacher per year on professional development and have seen little or ineffective results. One solution would be to hire an in-district coach, which can allow flexible meeting time during the implementation stage for teachers. The goal is to have teachers implement Google G Suite to create a digital learning environment for students who can collaborate, share, and learn. One way to do this is to have a coach that will help model effective use of technology tools and resources, as well as collect and analyze student achievement data in order to improve instructional practice and maximize student learning. Since we are trying to create 21st century learners, it is important to make sure that 21st century learning is happening in the classroom. By offering professional learning and coaching to our staff, we will make sure that teachers are supported through this transition and are implementing Google G Suite and digital learning successfully in their classrooms.